Well, today marks day one for another drive through vaccine site in the Austin area. Austin Public Health launched its first drive through COVID-19 vaccine operation at the Tony Burger Center in South Austin. KXAN's Caitlin Carmen joins us live now from the Burger Center. And Kate, so far, how are things going? Yeah, Jennifer, things have really settled down here this evening. Earlier this afternoon, those arriving for their scheduled appointments were met by a long line of cars. And, you know, we put out a call on our KXAN Facebook page asking how today has been for those getting their vaccination. One lady told me she arrived for her scheduled two o'clock appointment. She got so frustrated after waiting for two hours, she ended up leaving. Now, another lady says her husband got here around 11 this morning, and the process was nothing but smooth sailing. Now, this is only Austin Public Health's pilot phase. Health officials say they plan to initially vaccinate 1,500 people a day and then ramp up to 3,000 a day. Until now, Austin Public Health sites have only been walk-up. APH says the drive through sites are much more labor intensive and require three times the staff and volunteers. Austin Public Health also tells us they have the ability to vaccinate 37,000 people at all of their sites. But remember, they're only receiving 12,000 vaccines a week. In South Austin, Caitlin Carmo, KX News. All right, Caitlin, thanks so much. Well, just because you're vaccinated doesn't mean you can't get COVID-19, even if you've already gotten it. Yesterday, the state health department says there have been 13 people who have gotten COVID-19, been fully vaccinated, then reinfected. Now that's out of nearly 3 million Texans who are fully vaccinated. Here in Travis County, there have been 12 people who have either gotten COVID-19 after their vaccines or contracted the virus twice.